we are embarking on another hunting mission. Welcome on back, guys. We've got another video, possible video series going down here. Most likely going to be a few videos because I don't, I don't anticipate I'm going to get this one done on the first try. I have had a surprisingly hard time this season finding a larger buck to cooperate with the bow, or even just a doe to get with my compound bow. You know, I kind of dilly dallied early season. And uh, we'll probably never do that again. I'm gonna take my opportunities as they come from here on, learning lessons. Uh, now that we're in rut and maybe even post rut, um, it, things are getting a little slim, you know? And there's been a lot more deer taken, a lot more pressure in the woods. Uh, so, hey, we're gonna give public land a try. I've done public land hunting for elk out west and I've done public land hunting with birds here in Texas, but never for a white-tailed deer. Already did a little scouting yesterday, and I've already got some trail cam picks back. I've only put up one camera, put it on a scrape. Uh, I had a little bud buck come to it, and then I had a six point that's probably not even legal, uh, and then one doe. And uh, they seem to be moving at night, so not not very promising there. But I found um, a couple of other spots that have got some hickory trees with some oaks. I think would be some good feeding areas, you know, morning, evening. So that's what we're gonna do tonight. We're gonna go sit in an oak tree that's got a few hickories around it. I saw enough activity around there, tracks and stuff. I think um, at some point today, it might be tonight, uh, there will be some deer come through there. That's really my main concern is all the hunting pressure is gonna push these deer to move at night, but we'll see. We're gonna be hunting out of our, um, our tree harness or their platform. So I'm going light, I'm just going to take a GoPro and we're, we're going to put the old, you know, rock climbing harness on, climb up in a tree, grab the old bow here and uh, see if we can fling one at a legal deer. Now a buck has to be at least 13 inches inside spread to be legal here in Texas or have at least one unbranched antler. So you can do a spike or you could do a one spiker, three pointer, you know, or but you can't, can't do one of these, you can't do the old the old number four, unless he is, you know, 13 inches inside spread. So that or a doe we are going to be going after. So let's grab our gear, grab some arrows, let's head to the woods. Oh, and by the way, I, uh, I don't have my truck. So we're gonna be hunting out of a Chevy Malibu. Oh man, this is a doozy. This is a doozy right here. I guess we'll, if we get this deer, we'll uh, strap it to the hood with some paracord. What do you think? I don't know. It really sucks not having my truck. That's a, it's really a story for another day. If you guys know the problems I've had with my, uh, my little dirty Max. Mm. We're on, we're on saga number two, truck number two right now with that.
up here. It's taken me forever just to find a good tree. I thought I had a good tree, but there was wasps all up in the top of it. And I kind of saw how that was gonna go. So a few draws, I can still see a creek back here. Um, there's multiple game trails and there's even a scrape, a fresh, juicy scrape right over here about 20 yards from this tree. So, you know, I don't anticipate we're gonna see anything until right at dark, if we, have, if we see anything at all, but we got about an hour. Whew. Wish I had some water, because I worked up a thirst getting up here. Set up the platform in this little crack. We're good ways up here, too. This is probably the highest I've set up my, uh, my saddle so far. And uh, we've got our tether right here. And I just brought a rope. And just tied a little toggle to it to hang the bow. I basically can shoot 360 because I can stand straight up. I'm not even using my tether right now. And I'm connected to it, but I'm not leaning on it. So behind me is real brushy. Right out here, there's a great little grove, a little oak and hickory grove. So this would be a good feeding area. A lot of grass, still some acorns on the ground, so let's chill out, let the woods settle down, hopefully we'll see some deer. I've seen mosquitoes so far, it's about 65 degrees, so it does not help. Malibu got us back where we need to be. I think there's a cold front coming in tonight, so I might just jump back into that tree really early. Uh, it took me a while. I actually readjust, readjusted my stand a couple of times to kind of position myself where I can shoot uh, multiple lanes, and I, I actually moved it up higher. Uh, so I feel pretty good about it. You know, saddle hunting to me, it's, it's not first nature. It's not even second nature. I, I'm, I'm still learning and getting comfortable with it. So, you know, it takes me a while. I can't just like shoot up there, but trying to be safe, trying not to fall flat on my back in the woods or on my head or something, and, you know, it's, uh, it's sketchy. But I'm sure when I get a deer, finally, it's gonna feel really good. But no deer tonight. I actually got, I got no notifications either on my other camera. So I'm, I'm guessing these fish are gonna be, <laughs> these fish. <laughs> Getting about that time. A few more deer, it's gonna be time for early pre-spawn bass and down south. This cold front comes in, I think they'll get they'll get moving uh, in the morning. So I may just hop back in there and, and see. But first attempt on public land, goose egg. Not surprised. looking for. I heard some leaves crunching about 10 minutes ago, but I couldn't see see that far. There was a bunch of oak leaves over by the creek and I heard the, uh, you know, ch -ch -ch -ch, but I just couldn't see what it was. Don't know if it was deer. I love this spot because it's just so open, but I think that's part of the problem. I think with uh, as much pressure that is out here, they're going to look to be more on the edges 
They're probably getting pushed out on the edges a little bit. Update, however, on my trail cam that's in another spot. Got a couple shooter bucks. They're, uh, seem to be nocturnal right now. I haven't got a updated, uh, upload this morning to see if anything's come by there. But last night, there were basically three shooter bucks that came by. I was, was pretty wild. They were all using that scrape. It doesn't do me any good that it's at night, but at least I know that there are some decent bucks out here. I was hoping they were going to be feeding in this field, but they're not. Beautiful morning. Didn't have to chase away any cows, so that's positive. It is now time for me to film myself getting out of this tree. That's it's gonna be interesting, um, especially with all the gear right now. I have decided to go with a rope climbing method instead of the ladders, and uh, boy, boy, it just makes for interesting descents. But you never know when it's gonna be your last time getting down out of a tree, so I'll film it. All right, first thing I gotta do, we're gonna take the platform down and everything. Up. Gotta limber up. Limber up. I'm gonna need all my joints here. So right now, I am in my tether. This is the tether right here. Hooked up. First thing we're gonna do is lower the bow on this paracord. And then we're gonna hook in to our climbing rope. And we're gonna take this off. Then we're gonna lower down. We're gonna take the platform off. All right, here we go. Wish me luck. Take this off of here. Take our arrow off. Put it back in the quiver. So I'm actually going to lower my bow on this side where I'm going to climb down. All right, now here's the interesting part is we're going to take this carabiner. And we're going to stick it on the carabiner of our climbing rope. Right there. We'll take our cinder off. Put that right there. And my Grigri is gonna go right here. So I'm not on my tether right now, so a little bit of a danger factor. this out, put this in my little pouch, take our tether off, okay, I'll toss that down, alright, now we're going to start maneuvering down this tree. Get some tension on our gree gree and we'll be okay. All right. So, we're actually going to pull this rope off when we're all done. This right here. I'm going to lower myself a little bit with the gree gree using that lever. I'm going to get the platform about chest level. We're just hanging. We're hanging by the gree gree. It's very important I don't take tension off that though. Okay. This 
platform comes off pretty easily. It's pretty nice. We'll attach that to our harness. Golly, it's getting cold. All right. Now we're going to descend. Send down the tree. Just take it easy. made it down pop out of our gree gree now grab our bow and now I'm gonna pull on this paracord right here and it's gonna bring my rope down hopefully it should in theory. that I'm using so there's no ladder there's no none, none of that I'm gonna load that in my backpack and uh, next time we come out here we're gonna climb up in a different tree so whew, man it's really chilled off actually actually I'm gonna go check this scrape see if it was used last night Torn this place up too. It really doesn't look like it was used last night. It's a pretty fresh print right here. We packed it out of the woods, y'all, and then we headed to Florida to go bass fishing after my first public land hunt for white-tailed deer. And of course, the whole time, I'm on the phone, I'm looking for trail cam picks. Or when are they coming out during the day? And it was mostly warm. Uh, it was a whole week of just warm weather, and of course, all the, the picks of deer. Got plenty of picks, but they're all at night. And uh, we're talking some good bucks, mature bucks. They've been fighting a lot. They're all scarred up. They're, they're awesome. Late season deer, but nothing during the day. So I got another trail cam. I'm going to put out more of a feeding area. 
Uh, the one I had out was kind of just on a scrape in a pass by area. And, uh, so we'll see if we get any more picks. But in the meantime, we're going to head down to the deer lease where we've been getting plenty of trail cam activity. I'm going to take the bow. Also going to take the rifle just to make sure we get some deer down. I need two more deer to finish off the season and make sure we have the freezer full to continue feeding me and the fam for the rest of next year. And uh, that's it. So drop me a comment down below. What is your favorite rifle caliber? Are you a 308 old school guy? Are you are you new school? Are you on this 6.5 program? Maybe you're 300 Win Mac? I, I don't know. 270 classic? 243? I don't know. Maybe you're straight arrows. Much respect to that too. But let me know in the comments down below. And thank you guys for being with me in the great outdoors. And I'll see you back in it on the next one.